Never miss the latest video from Techie Tweaks. Just stay subscribed to our channel and enable the notification bell on your desktop as well as on your mobile phone. Hello guys, this is Sahi from Techie Tweaks. Welcome to our channel and in this new video. So guys, I have been also getting a lot of requests on making a CPU build for YouTubers who are coming to YouTube who want to edit on their PC and also want to game. So in this video, I love building a PC in 40,000 rupees. So without any further ado, let's get started. So guys before starting up this video I want to tell you that there is a giveaway going on our channel so if you want to check that out go in the description box as well as in the i button. So guys first thing is the processor. So guys for the processor we are going with Intel Core i5-7400. It is a 7th generation processor which is built on 40 nanometer architecture that's why it is very power efficient. And guys when we talk about video editing we need to have very good CPU. We need GPU but the CPU should be really good because most of the time CPU will be used. That's why we are going with the 7400. It is a quad core processor which supports hyper threading. And guys if I talk about the graphics chip on the CPU itself it is actually graphics 630. We will be having a dedicated GPU also. So as a whole package it is really good goes from 3 GHz to 3.5 GHz. And if I talk about the pricing, you can get for about 13,000 to 13,500. And if you have some extra money and you can spend 1000 rupees extra, you can go with i5-7500. The advantage is that you will get 400 megahertz extra clock speed from 3.4 gigahertz it goes up to 3.8 gigahertz the problem is that in india this 7500 cost 1500 to 2000 rupees more but it is worth it if you want to invest a little bit more you can go with the 7500 otherwise i5 7400 is also really good but if you can invest you can go with the 7500 also so guys as i have told you it is a 7th generation cpu we need to get a motherboard according to that only and the socket type is lga 1151 and guys this these cpus are locked cpu this means we can't overclock them that's why we are going with h110 uh, platform guys you can buy the motherboard from asus gigabyte etc but do note that you need to get a motherboard which for ddr4 ram so uh, i am selecting asus h110 md or gigabyte h110 msc these are very good uh, motherboards having very good idea to ram store uh, ram slots up to 32 gb 21 33 megahertz is the speed and unbuffered memory they also support uh, give you option of usb 3.0 port hdmi ports and these are very capable motherboards if you want to go go with these motherboards and guys i am recommending this product because generally with gigabyte and asus we are getting very good service in india and guys for the graphics card you can go with the uh, zotec gtx 1050 ti i know that i am saying that for video editing we need a good gpu not a very good gpu but the thing is that if you want to game on this pc you can go with the gtx 1050 ti oc edition that will cost you about 14000 rupees it's a brilliant graphic card have uh, 768 cuda cores and it's built on 128 uh, mb bus and it's a base clock and boost clock you can also overclock it it's a brilliant graphic card guys and it has two fans so the cooling mechanism is also good so if you want to game you can uh, go with this one and if you have some extra money and you can spend 3000 rupees extra you can go with the gtx 1060 from zotac only 3 gb ddr5 actually the 1050 ti was 4 gb ddr5 but if you want a slightly better performance at 1080p you can go with the g gtx 1060 which is more capable graphics card yes it is a 3 gb ddr5 but performance is actually better than the 1050 ti obviously it's an expensive one you can have very smooth frame rates at 60 fps on sort of medium settings at 1080p and also guys gtx 1060 you can also experience the virtual reality that is vr and the cost of 1060 is about 16,000 rupees and you can get the 1050 ti oc for about 13,000 rupees so it's your call so guys for the RAM, we are going with HyperX Fury from Kingston, which is 8GB DDR4 RAM, 
clocked at 2133 megahertz the reason we are going with that because our motherboard supports only up to 2133 megahertz first thing is that and also guys ddr4 ram con power consumption is re really less you can also overclock the ram and the best part is that all the games most of the games require less than 8 gb of ram and there are very few games who require this much of ram and you can easily game edit and do your office work with that 8 gb of ram so kingston hyper x fury is the perfect choice so guys after that we need to have hard disk so hard disk we are going with wd kvr view 1 tb 7200 rpm hard drive which is very fast 64 mb buffer size which is really good we get lots of storage because video files games are so big so 1tb is must for us and it's a recommended product from me so guys after that we need to get a very good pc psu that is power supply because we will be editing and for power supply we know that our processor is 7th generation, graphics card is latest, that's why we are going with Corsair VS 450W. Now some way say go with the 550W, yes you can go, but in this budget this is more than enough because recommended with the 1060 is about 350 to 400MHz to power supply and our processor as I have told you is it's a 7th generation. We are using a DDR4 RAM which is very power efficient. So Corsair VS 450W is more than enough. If you want, you can go with the 550 watt. That will cost you a thousand rupees more. But in local market, VS 450 watt will cost you about 2600 rupees and has very high quality cables. So guys, for the last thing, we need cabinet. As we are building a gaming PC, sort of gaming PC, and uh, for most of the part we are doing editing on it, I have selected the Corsair Carbide series. That is CC. 9011 it is a very good uh, uh, cabinet guys it looks awesome it has usb 3 port on the outside it has a, a one led fan inside it has lots of cooling solution lots of uh, space for cable management it's a brilliant uh, cabinet guys i can recommend it and you can get this for about 3500 rupees on amazon but if you want then you can get it around that price only in offline market if it is available go with the cooler master or something like a circle if these things are not available and uh, this is a very good uh, cabinet guys one of my friend is using and he is very satisfied with this thing as you can see guys the total budget is a uh, little bit over 40,000 but this is the thing guys this is just an estimate which I am giving you and I am giving you idea about the components which you need to buy if you like this thing yeah, then you can build for yourself and if you are getting some things cheaper online then purchase from our links they'll help out the channel so guys that's what was pretty much it from the video if you like the video hit that like button if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to our channel and enable the notification bell if you have any doubt comment query feedback etc comment section is the place where you can go and uh, that's pretty much it from the video thank you guys for watching and we'll meet in next one